It's EBK every day, all day, to the day I die. It's EBK, EBK, EBK. What's good, Hanthi? It's EBK every day, all day, to the day I die. It's EBK, EBK, EBK. It's your boy, Conejo. What's good, gente? It's your boy Conejo, and as you guys can see on the on the thumbnail, man, I'm, I'm gonna be speaking on myself, you know, and pretty much um, how everything went about, how I was able to discover that early that I had lung cancer, and I'm gonna be speaking on how it all went down. I know you guys been waiting for it. I have people dropping comments all the time, and. One of the main reasons why I haven't really spoken on it is because I try not to think about it. You know, I try to keep my mind busy. Um, it's something that's it's kind of stressful. You know, I, I believe anyone that would be dealing with that, um, it would be something. I mean, some people are different. Some people like to talk about it. Me personally, I've never been the person to want to be talking about certain little things. That's why I let you guys know towards like towards the end of it, you know, like when well, I'm already getting the chemo and not right away. But I do feel that it would be right for people to know just in case that they, if they are dealing or having certain issues that, you know, um, no one wants to be going through, you know, straight up. Um, I figured it'll, I'll let you guys know, you know, especially in case that if you guys are feeling some of the symptoms that I recommend you guys to go get checked, you know. Um, so before I get started, man, hit them like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you guys want to drop comments, yeah, go ahead, man. I'll try to answer you, you know. Uh, I do thank everybody that that's, that keeps me in their prayers and sends me their best wishes, you know. Um, so this is why I'm doing this video for you guys. Um, so pretty much, if you guys were able to recall me like um, doing my lives with the little ice pack and you guys knew I had surgery. I had ended up getting surgery because I noticed that there was something not right. You know, I, I had seen a little lump and it was something that was concerning to me, right? And luckily, I, I wasn't the type of individual that waited because I guess apparently people wait like six months before they go get checked. Um, I happened to be someone that was like, man, well, I got to go. You know, this shit does, does not feel right. So I ended up going to go get checked. As soon as they seen it, they were like, oh, that's something that we do have to remove ASAP, you know. And well, I did. I, I didn't hesitate. You know, I was like, well, let's let's get it out and and do what we got to do, even though I was scared. I'll be quite honest with you guys, man. When it comes to stuff like that, medical stuff, it's something scary, man. But it's something that a lot of us have to deal with uh, in life. You know, it's it's uh, it's normal. Some people think that it was because of the smoking and dabbing and working with pesticides and stuff like that. Right. Um, but no, it, it, it don't have nothing to do with none of that, man. Uh, the doctors were able to confirm it um, after they had removed the, the lump. They thought everything, everything was going to be good, you know. But after that surgery, I had to get a CAT scan. And even though it's something scary, um, I went to go do the CAT scan. And I was hoping nothing would pop up. But apparently there was uh, some little, some some signs, right, um, that popped up on the, on, the, on the CAT scan. Where it showed that I had two, two little things in my lung, you know, that ain't supposed to be there. So... I had another surgery pretty much. Uh, I did get my 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 lung checked. They they stabbed me seven times. <laughs> it wasn't a, a pleasant feeling, uh, to be quite honest. I was up. Uh, even though I was sedated somewhat, I was still able to feel everything and and just experience that that experience. I guess right. They also put a port in my chest for for the chemo. Because even though they were just uh, barely checking um, to see if it was going to be cancer, the possibility of it being cancer was really high. So they wanted to get everything ready and me had to go through the, the chemo process, you know. And of course, after they had told me the, the, the where, where it was damaged and stuff like that before the, the whole surgery, I started paying attention to like, what well, what did I feel, you know, because there was certain feelings when uh, I would smoke, you know, when I would cough and stuff like that, at times it would make me collapse. Um, at my breathing, like, for, and it would ha it would be on that side, so I know that has to do something with it. You know, it would always be on my right side, and so I would pay attention. I was like, man, well, that's probably why 
I felt like I couldn't breathe at times after I would smoke and stuff like that. That's why I kind of stopped smoking dabs on the live, you know, because I didn't want you guys to see those those effects. And um, so I was like, man, maybe it's because of that. But the doctor guaranteed me that it wasn't part of that. More than likely, it came from the foods that we eat. Everybody eats, right? There's a lot of like stuff that um, they put to make the food last long, preservatives. And it, 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 it causes cancer, you know, so it could have been because of that. But at the same time, we're not 100 percent sure, you know. So it was something that I started just to pay attention. And I was like, man, no wonder it was always on that side. And those were kind of like the symptoms that I was feeling, you know, now with the whole chemo, um, to be quite honest, um, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Eh? I, I didn't lost a lot of weight. Uh, not because I want to, it's just, you're not able to eat, but, uh, you thought you were able to eat, you know, it's really hard. It really takes a toll to be quite honest. Um, I don't wish this on nobody, you know, uh, at times I'm just like, damn, why me? Right. But I got to remember that everything in life, um, I don't, I'm not, like I said before on my lives, so I'm not someone that's really too religious, but I do got beliefs and I feel that. Uh, I wouldn't have had this if I can't overcome it, you know, and I got to be strong for my family. And that's one of the main reasons why I continue to push forward. Um, so I do recommend anyone, man, you, you're the only one that's going to know your body. If you feel that something's wrong, go get checked. It's something really scary. Eh? Hey, it's scary to everybody. But if you feel that something's not right in your body, like I said, you got to go get checked. Because you never know if you might catch it early. I was lucky by catching it early, even though I'm, I don't feel too lucky right now, man, uh, with this whole process, this chemo and the chemo really kicks your ass. <laughs> I'll be straight up with you guys, man. I feel like I'm honestly dying, but I know it's just it's killing uh, most of the cells that ain't supposed to be there, you know, and even though. I already done lost my hair. I, I'm losing my facial hair. Every time I rub my, my scalp, I see a lot of hair fall off. Um, it is scary. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's scary. But I know if I want to continue to push forward for my, my daughters and stuff like that, um, I got to go through that process. But at the same time, it makes me stronger because now I don't really care about other situations uh, that I used to be concerned. It was an eye opener at the same time. You know, it was an eye opener. And life's too short, you know, to to not really live in fear, because like I said, man, I live in my area. I still push around my town. I still I still do what I got to do. But at the same time, I'm always having to look over my shoulder. And because of this whole thing, man, um, even though I would over, already do that, I'm just like, it's not that I'm a little bit careless, but I got to remember that life's too short to just be tripping. Like, you know what I'm saying? People should already know, man. I got love for everybody, man. I got love for the Norteños. I got love for the Sureños. I got love for everybody, man. Whoever decides to trip, then that's just the route that we're going to have to take, you know. And if dead wants you, like if, you know, I mean, la Santita Muerte te quiere, vato, pretty much there's no running away from it. So you just might as well face it, you know what I mean, head forward and deal with the consequences. And that's just always been my motto. But now these last couple of days, it's been a little bit more, especially because I got a family, man, and I want to enjoy every every minute, every every second that I'm able to enjoy with them, you know, because like I said, this chemo is really hard. And even though I'm not working right now and I'm resting a lot, as you guys can see, it is taking a toll. I love doing lives. I love doing content. You know, uh, it keeps me busy and it keeps me entertained at the same time. And um, lately, these last couple of days, I haven't been able to do that. But I figured I'll make this video just for you guys, man, because you guys have been asking. And like I said, I make these videos for you and for the youngins that are watching these videos, man. So they can catch it early <laughs> in case of any 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 symptom or anything that they're feeling, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, just make sure to go get checked. I will end this video right here, man. I hope I answered some of the people's uh, questions. Make sure to drop comments to let me know exactly what it is. And when I have time, I will do another video. Because like I said, man, this chemo right here, it's not a joke. <laughs> it does it does tear you up, to be quite honest. So with all that being said, gente, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, 
Make sure to put a like for your boy. Make sure to subscribe, hit that follow and all that good stuff, right? Because like I said, when I come back, I'm going to come back with some fire that I, I know you guys probably like, man, we'll push for, like, you know what I mean? Push through, man, and, and, and let us know what's up, you know, but trust and believe, man, I need to be back fully just in case people want to reply, you know, so I hope you guys understand that. And with all that being said, gente, when you hit that notification bell, make sure to hit all, man, because people, uh, YouTube tends to forget about certain people, especially if they don't make content, you know, so make sure you hit that notification bell so that you guys always stay tapped in. And you guys already know what's up, man. I highly appreciate every single one of you guys. I do have a P.O. box and everything already. In case you guys want it, hit me up on IG or hit me up on uh on in the email, whichever fits clever for you, whichever one's easier for you. And uh, with all that being said, gente, this is your boy Conejo, and we out. It's EBK every day, all day to the day I die. It's EBK, EBK, EBK. What's good, gente? It's EBK every day, all day to the day I die. It's EBK, EBK, EBK. It's your boy Conejo.